Hi, let's use the equations for projectile motion to examine a world record in track and field. So the world record long jump is held by American Mike Powell, who in Tokyo in 1991 jumped a total distance of 8.95 meters. Now, it's estimated that his jump speed at takeoff was about 9.5 meters per second. So, how close did Mike Powell come to the theoretical maximum distance if we could ignore the effects of air resistance during that jump? So, for the long jump, we start on the ground, we land on the ground, so it's a zero change in height problem. And if we want to evaluate the maximum possible distance, we can use the range equation. And the range equation says that the range that we travel as a projectile is our initial speed squared divided by the strength of gravity times the sine of two times the launch angle. Well, if we want to get the maximum possible distance with an initial velocity of 9.5 meters per second, we would want to launch ourselves at as close to a 45 degree angle as we could. Because 2 times 45 degrees makes the sine of 90 degrees 1. So the maximum range you could ever achieve for a projectile, if you could ignore all effects of air, is the initial velocity squared divided by the strength of gravity. So we take our 9.5 meters per second, we square that, we divide that by 9.8 meters per second squared, and that leaves us with a distance of 9.21 meters. Now the world record was 8.95 meters. So if you subtract those two, 9.21 meters minus 8.95 meters means that Mike Powell came within 26 centimeters, 0.26 meters of the theoretical maximum jump without any effects of air resistance. And 26 centimeters is a centimeter shorter than the long end of this eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of paper that I'm holding in my hand. So this far from the theoretical maximum, given that takeoff speed. Great job. Thanks for watching.